Hi there! Today I want to show you this Whirly gig that works with ionic propulsion. The construction is simple. We have this acrylic base and a large needle inserted in the acrylic. And this piece is a piece of copper wire that has been bent in this form. The tips have been sharpened and it is also bent like a triangle to make it stable. The center has been flattened with a hammer and I have made a little notch in the center with the tip of a nail to make it rest on the tip of the needle. This will be powered with high voltage. We will connect the high voltage terminal to the needle and I will use this little power supply that has an output of around 25,000 volts. Ok, let's see how it works. I will apply 6 volts to the little high voltage power supply. Let me connect. And we can see how immediately starts to rotate. Let me try to measure the rotation speed. Ok, the tachometer uh, is 523 divided by 2 because we have 2 blades, so it is about 260 RPM. It's the speed of rotation of our little whirly gig. Let me now give you a simplified explanation of how this device works. This is the rotor made from the copper wire and let's see what happens at one of the tips. The rotor can have positive or negative charge depending on how we connect the power supply but suppose it is positive. The molecules of the surrounding air are neutral, which means that they have equal numbers of positive and negative charges. Since the voltage is very high, the electric field at the tip of the rotor will attract negative charges from the air molecules. Now the air molecules become positively charged, the same as the rotor. Since equal charges repel, there will be a repulsion force between the air molecules and the tip of the rotor. The same situation happens at the other tip of the rotor and we will have a pair of forces that create the rotation movement.